shit, that's kinda cool. Last week, bit of a slow week. And this week is anything but. The guy started off with a temporary fence around a construction site. Just like that, job site secure. Guys did a great job. Back of the office, the heat shrink tunnel finally arrived. This is arguably one of the most important pieces in the fulfillment room. It is the heat tunnel. Now this heat tunnel has been a little while getting, well not this particular heat tunnel, but a heat tunnel getting to us has been a bit of a story. Uh, so we ordered, this was part of an order about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Uh, three pallets were supposed to show up last Tuesday. Two pallets actually made it. And mysteriously, the most important pallet and probably, arguably, the most expensive pallet got lost somewhere in between. Uline is sure it went out. It's in the bill of lading, but the carrier lost it somehow. Per policy, Uline had to give them a few days to see if they could find it. Lo and behold, didn't find it. It's still mysteriously out there somewhere. But Uline stepped up because I'd explained this fulfillment room can't really move forward without this piece of equipment. And we have a significant amount of bulk orders, uh, retail orders to get out. So they shipped this thing overnight, FedEx freight from Wisconsin. Now with the limited knowledge of what things cost to ship, the shipping was probably half of what this thing cost. So Uline really stepped up and took care of us. Not a sponsored ad, we paid full price for this thing, but uh, you need to respect great customer service. I think it's really lacking in the world in general today. So when someone provides exceptional service, I think it's worth talking about. We're gonna lift this thing over onto the table, open it up, here we go. When you're done, you can turn the heat off and it'll it'll manually cool down before you actually turn it off. Just like that, equipment set up, but not quite ready. Takes about a half hour for one of these things to heat up. Now during that half an hour, as luck should have it, we realized we needed a new compressor for the pump for the stain tank. You would think today was like a Monday, but it's actually Wednesday. I say that because we've got Eric and Matt off to West Plains working on a repair. I think they probably just showed you that or they're getting ready to show you that. And we've got another couple guys making a couple big gates for an area funeral home. Dalton needs to get some stain done for a retail order, but the air compressor is five or six years old. It's not making good air. It's got a pretty significant air leak, but we got to get this thing filled. So luckily we've got a spare air compressor and it's not the greatest since an electric motor, doesn't keep up super well, but it's gonna be able to fill this thing up slowly but surely while I make a run to the uh, local home improvement store to pick up another compressor. See how well this one works. Now this works, kind of, only it would take an eternity to transfer 55 gallons of stain from the barrels into the tank. So, off to the big box store to get a new compressor. After two short hours, uh, we were back in service. So I went to the box store, got this handy uh, Metabo air compressor. It costs enough that it ought to be a really good piece of equipment. Now, I am proud to say though, only one trip to the store. We had to modify it a little bit. It actually doesn't come with air chucks, which is something they should probably tell you on the box or something, not included. So we yanked them off the old one, put them on this one, and we're back in service. Now to give you an insight as to what, you know, good flow should look like out of one of these, check this out. All right, 
So with the fire put out over in the stain shop, it's back to the fulfillment room to play with the new heat treat tunnel. Now when we cut the last one, it made a seal there. Hey, look at that. And it works. The heat shrink tunnel was a success. The fulfillment room is more or less done. Now we'll continue to tweak it and move things around, I'm sure, to increase efficiencies. But for now, it works and we're ready to get orders out the door. And now we're sending Matt and Eric to repair a chain link fence that's a couple hours away. It's a bit outside our service area, but it's for a really good contractor that we do quite a bit of work for. Previously, they'd had someone else try to put up the fence that wasn't quite the fence professional. So. We figured it out. <laughs> All right. Okay. You can just cut that out. Yeah. Right. We're here today in West Plains at an elementary school. We're here to fix some fence that got taken down and put back up in the raw bay. And add more fence. And add more this. fence, yes. So we're going to be fixing the fence that the handyman put up. And we're also going to be adding some posts and adding to the air conditioning unit to give the workers a little more room. Stay tuned. got some fence that's thrown together by maybe a handyman or some sort of maintenance man here at the school and we're gonna go in and try to repair some of the work that he's done he's done a fairly good attempt at at least trying to put it up but we're going to retighten it to get everything cinched back down we're gonna be removing the bands here putting on uh, tension bands and wire ties After we have gone through and tightened everything down, we have gone in and cut all the zip ties off of there, put the tension bands and bars back together, gotten the fence tight once again, and wire tied the top rail. And it's looking a lot better. Howdy doody. Here we are in West Plains, day two. We've come back to check out our post. Looks like they've set pretty well. We're going to take off the caution tape and throw some chain link up. Get her done. Get her done. So here we are with the finished product. We just got done putting up the chain link, got the wire ties on, and she's looking real fine. While Matt and Eric were finishing up the chain link repair, Dalton was back at the stain shop making use of that shiny new compressor. We had a retail client that was needing some pre-stained cedar pickets for an upcoming job they had. And just like that, episode four is a wrap. Let me know what you think of this new format. We're loving it here, but I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments below. Always love interacting with you. 
For now, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. And I'll see you next week.